Hi there, wig lover. This is Heather from SisterWigs.com, and today I'm reviewing the Classic Page Wig by Hairdo, which is made by Hair You Wear, which is the same company that makes Raquel Welch wigs, in the color SS Ginger Blonde, also known as Medium Golden Blonde, or SS25. It is the exact same color as the RL25 SS color from the Raquel Welch line, because this is a heat-friendly synthetic. Um, so with that being said, I think this hair feels great because it's the Raquel Welch True to Life Fiber, which almost universally feels fabulous right out of the box. Now, it doesn't stay that way because it's just got a ton of silicone on it to protect it from static damage. So the moment you wash it, it can, it can get a little brittle feeling. So I definitely recommend buying um, like Simply Styling Silicone Spray, which we carry in my store now, um, or you know maybe some Envy Renew Repair or just something that will help restore some of that coating to help protect against static damage and keep the hair feeling silky longer because it does feel really, really nice right now. This color is beautiful. It, is a very pretty sort of apricot blonde color. So you can see it's got that little bit of sort of peachy blonde and a little bit of a lighter blonde all kind of mishmash together. Very pretty, very natural looking and very nice dark root on that too. Um, they do, uh, true to life fibers do come in a regular R25 color, but not in the hairdo line. These are all heat friendly synthetics, and I think that the um, the hairdo line for this color only has the rooted version. So this wig weighs four ounces, which is a little heavy for a wig of this length. Um, the front is 4.25 inches. It may need to be trimmed on some people. I, I just sweep it to the side, but if I were going to wear this like a real page bob, I would I would cut it. Um, the crown down is 12.25 inches, so it's quite long in the back. Um, and it starts here and then goes all the way down. I'll show you in a second. The sides are 8.5 and the nape is four inches. It's almost the same length all the way around because it's a page bob. So let me go ahead and show you what this one looks like all the way around and then I'll give you some thoughts on it. This wig is begging to be heat styled. Um, I think that, you know, so, some wigs I'm like, why is this a heat friendly synthetic? I can tell why this one's a heat friendly synthetic because, you know, all the hairdo wigs, they're, they're well made, but they give you just a very, you know, basic amount of hair. They don't give you a lot of hair on these wigs. And that's to keep the price point down. They've all got a beautiful price point. They're all right around a hundred bucks. So they're relatively inexpensive for what they're giving you. And the way that they can achieve that is by giving you a little bit less hair. They give you enough to give you good coverage, but uh, it's, it's no frills. So this one, it just kind of hangs there, you know? It's, it's really flat. It's not really doing much. I have tried playing with it a little bit but because the texture of the hair is so straight. It just kind of goes... So this one's begging to be heat styled. I think this one would be adorable if you put like a really loose curl in it. Um, or like a little boho wave, I think that this one would be adorable on. And it would definitely pump up the volume of it a little bit, so that way it didn't just sit there like this. Because the hair feels fabulous. And it, it looks nice, but it can look a lot better, I think, if you style it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off now so I can show you what the cap construction looks like. Oh. It's completely machine made. It's got a little band of felt right here at the front, but again, pretty no frills. This whole top portion is permatease, but only lightly. Um, it's not, they don't go crazy with the permatease either on these wigs, which is another reason why they lay a little flat. Um, then you've got open wefted back and sides, an extended nape with a band of felt right underneath, and then adjustable Velcro here. We have open ear tabs that make it easy to wear glasses. And it's pretty stretchy on the perimeter, not so much on the top. Just something to keep in mind. Here is what the top of this wig looks like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on. Yeah, I think all of these hairdo wigs, by and large, are really good values for the money. Um, 
The only one I was a little questionable about was the spiky cut, and that's just because that one desperately needs heat styled before you can wear it. But the back of it's actually pretty. This one, again, you know, could be wearable right away if you don't mind the fact that it lays kind of flat. If you're, you know, if you've got a really small face, narrow face with very slight features, then this may be the perfect amount of volume for you. But for someone like me, who's got lots of face going on, I need a little bit more oomph up in this region and a little bit less down in here, if you know what I mean. So this has been the Sister Wigs review of the Hairdo Classic Page Wig, which is a very nice wig for the money, in the color SS25. My website is www.cystewigs.com. My name's Heather, I'm the owner, webmaster, ringleader, master of ceremonies, the whole thing. So until next time, I'm Heather, signing off. Have a great night, bye-bye.